Drones are the latest weapon in the fight against vandalism on Melbourne's rail network. The state government hopes the technology will also allow for a faster response to major incidents and fewer delays for passengers. Andrew Lund reports. Hovering high above the rail tracks, this thermal imaging camera gives police a bird's eye view and plenty of evidence of these two vandals tagging a fence. What we want to do is try and stop this sort of behaviour, uh, this criminal activity before it starts. With a real-time link to Metro's control centre, it's hoped drones will also help improve the response to incidents such as last year's spring racing protest. The eyes are on you and that we will be uh, pursuing this as vigorously as we can. It builds on the recent use of helicopters to track copper wiring thieves. The use of helicopters and drones is not only about reducing the incidence of uh, vandalism on the network, it's also about making sure that we can keep Victorians moving. Metro spends $10 million a year on measures to prevent vandalism, but it's also started spending more to keep its trains clean. And it says that zero-tolerance approach to graffiti on carriages is starting to pay dividends. Over the last couple of years, our data shows that vandalism is going down. The cleaning of trains more frequently is working. Rail safety was also the focus for the opposition leader today, as he outlined further plans for daytime PSOs at major stations. We anticipate that by mid-19, 2019, we can have them at the stations like Richmond, Southern Cross, and Flinders Street during the day, all day. But one Liberal candidate faced a graffiti clean-up of his own after vandals covered a number of his shopfront posters with paint. I didn't want that uh, to scar the neighbourhood and I thought I'd just get out and uh, give it a clean-up. It's only a short job, but uh, maybe they'll be kind enough to put the posters up again. Andrew Lund, Nine News.